Hello and welcome everyone to the end of uh, the Russian turn 7 of my Memoir 44 scenario called Payback. Um, if you want to have more details on the scenario itself, well anyway, if you got this far you've probably been following some more of them, but if you want to have some more details please um, check out my other videos on this scenario. Um, yeah, so I've, I've gone back to covering each side's turn um, separately because it's easier to keep track of things and everything so uh, yeah and, 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 and keep in mind of course since it's memoir normally speaking it doesn't really matter which exact turn you're in um, in the beginning of this scenario or at least until the Germans roll lower than the current turn it is important to keep track of turns uh, after that it's not really important anymore but you know I've been I've been doing it anyway uh, simply to keep track of where exactly we are uh, so it's easier for you guys to follow and for me to analyze the uh, playtest results later on okay so uh, on their left board the Russians played a probe on the right which means two units and two on the move um, they fired this artillery unit and this one as well and um, this was uh, an on the move this uh, mine sweeping tank removed a uh, minefield uh, which it can do by simply moving it does it, it's, it's a special unit for this scenario and it doesn't actually have to do it instead of battling uh, speaking of that that is very strong as it turns out and and um, it is possible when it comes to the ground reinforcements to you know uh, initially I said it was instead of Hobart's funnies but it's so strong since it can just remove um, the obstacle and still fire and everything that uh, I think it's better to um, make it an option instead of elite armor instead of flamethrowing tanks or instead of a tank destroyer I guess that more accurately reflects the uh, strength of the unit so so that's a minor change I've made uh, or I'm going to make from now on um, yeah what else uh, so so they've eliminated this German unit that's given them another medal um, yeah so this one couldn't battle anymore because the two artillery units already battled um, here this tank unit attacked this German elite infantry and scored one hit um, this engineer unit this regular engineer unit um, removed a minefield as well but it cannot battle after removing the minefield but it did clear a path here to Bikov um, and there is no longer a German unit in there and if you've been following uh, this playtest so far you will know that it's really time for the uh, Russians to start taking some medals away from the Germans because the Germans are getting pretty close to victory because they've been you know holding up the Russians long enough and they got pretty lucky on a very early low die roll uh, because of which um, some things that have been hampering them when it comes to movement and everything no longer apply again please refer to my earlier videos if you want to find out exactly how that works in the center they play two units on the left and two on the move so that basically made for a strong push or you know maybe in this case it wasn't even all that incredibly strong but you know combining uh, two cards that way to to really join units from two boards uh, into a single thrust is definitely an option when you have multiple breakthrough boards side by side um yeah so um two on this side well I've, I actually already told you what what happened here uh, how this was instead of battling and this one actually battled and scored a hit but unfortunately failed to completely eliminate the German unit um, the regular tank unit is what came up as a reinforcement um, so again I, I could have until now called up a minesweeping tank for it but th those are too strong I guess for, for that particular role so um, I've made that one a, a, a bit more rare to, to come by so to speak the two on the moves were uh, this uh, supported armor which moved onto the bridge there and this unit that was on the bridge the engineer unit moved into the woods so now the Russians have a bit of a stronger presence here and uh, hopefully this artillery unit will be one that they'll be able to take out pretty soon as well but again, they're under quite a lot of time pressure because there are not a lot of medals left for the Germans to be gained, and they can do so by exiting the board. 
Um, here they played one on each um, one on each flank. Uh, this unit was reinforced um, by uh, two tracks that were here. Um, the artillery unit fired for a unit in the center. This one was on the left and on this side the Russian engineer unit moved to hexes from here to there and on the ground reinforcement roll they got one flag and this tank unit, well I don't remember exactly where it came from but um, it moved onto the bridge, I think it came from here. So this concludes the Russian turn, Russian turn 7, next up is German turn 7. Thank you for watching.